Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal. This time, my husband, who has never worked on a piece of furniture from start to finish, is going to take you through his very own makeover with this dresser that we bought from Facebook Marketplace. I think he has only ever used a paint sprayer that I had set up, and he only used it maybe once or twice. And that was also probably about seven years ago. Sometimes he helps with some things like cleaning or scuff sanding, and he always helps with moving and lifting the furniture, but the painting and finishing is always my job. Of course, I was around to help him out and probably stress him out even more. He is such a good sport. So without further ado, here's how it went down. First, I removed the old hardware There was a metal plate attached to the dresser and I removed that too. Then I cleaned the dresser with crud cutter and a damp rag. After that, I pulled out all of the drawers and vacuumed out all of the nasty dust and the spider webs inside the dresser. I help with cleaning the inside of the dressers often since my wife hates the thought of being surprised by a spider, so I was still in my comfort zone while doing this part of the process. Before we went any further, we knew we had to do something about the damaged finish on the top of the dresser. So we taped things off and stripped the top, as well as two of the drawers. My wife has a video on how to do this, so we'll link to that video in the description. But I ended up needing two coats of chemical stripper to get most of the old finish off. After the wood dried, there were still a few stubborn spots that I had to sand down to bare wood, but then I finally had a nice, smooth wood surface. Then, before we could dive into painting, we still had a lot of repairs to make on all of this chipped veneer at the base of the dresser. So we flipped the dresser upside down and chipped off all of the loose pieces of veneer. Then I filled in all of that veneer. My wife also has a video on this process, so we'll link to that as well. I made a newbie mistake and let the Bondo harden too fast, so I had to mix another batch of Bondo together to fill in the rest of the chipped veneer. Once the Bondo was completely dry, I used our sander to sand all of the excess Bondo off. Then I used wood filler to fill the smaller scratches and dings on the dresser and a few spots on the bondoed areas. After the wood filler was dry, I sanded the wood filler down and scuff sanded the rest of the dresser. And then I vacuumed everything off and wiped it down with a tack cloth to get all the dust off. Then it was time to prime. We used Bin Shellac based primer that my wife got tinted a grayish color. I have never been able to get the paint department to tint Bin for me, but this time they agreed to try. It may not be the prettiest color ever, but they tinted it darker and that was good enough for me. I rolled the first coat of primer onto the dresser, letting it dry for one hour between coats. There was more texture than I wanted when it dried, so I sanded the texture out a little bit. But I sanded back down too far and into the wood. Another newbie mistake. Then I repeated the process of vacuuming and using a tack cloth to clean up all of the dust. And 
and I painted another coat of primer on. This time, I tried having only a tiny, tiny bit of primer on my roller, and it came out so much better. There was still a little bit of texture, but definitely not as much as before. And then this time, when I sanded the texture down, I actually sanded it by hand because I was worried I would sand through the primer again. I was able to control how much I sanded so much better than before. And then I cleaned it all off again. I also sprayed clear shellac on the top and the two other drawers that I planned to stain. Natalie said she has heard that it helps the wood stain soak in more evenly, so I thought I would try it. Okay, so after stressing out a little through all of that priming, I was finally ready for the paint. I used Sherwin-Williams Emerald Urethane Trim Enamel in this color that doesn't have a name. I thought that this paint would be easier for him to use instead of a paint that requires a top coat. Sometimes top coats are such a pain, especially over dark colors. I thinned it out by about 10% and filtered it through the paint filter like Natalie says to do. Then I put the red 4mm tip on the Homerite paint sprayer and tested out the spray. Remember, this is my first time really using a paint sprayer to paint a piece of furniture, and I was actually pretty nervous. Just ask Natalie how many questions I kept asking her through this whole process. And how many times did I say, watch my video, it's all in there. I really wanted him to try spraying without any extra help from me. So I got started spraying the first coat, and it took some getting used to, but by the end of the first coat, my confidence was growing. Here's what the first coat looked like while it was still wet. Turns out I sprayed a little too lightly and the paint was more textured than I wanted, but overall it still looked pretty good. When the first coat was dry, I sprayed the second coat. This time I adjusted the paint sprayer to spray a little heavier to try to get a slightly thicker coat of paint in hopes that it would self-level better for a smoother finish. And then my wife took the plastic off the top to get a good look at the whole thing. And, not to Taylor's surprise, I told him I didn't like it. The stained top and the stained drawers needed some green between them or something. I thought honestly one of them just needed to be painted. Once she pointed it out to me, I agreed, so we went to plan B. And I primed the top of the dresser. I ended up giving it four light coats of primer. I was trying to roll it on thin so there wasn't much texture left behind, but then Natalie noticed that the wood grain wasn't filled in after two coats. So I rolled on more primer to try and fill in the deep wood grain. Then it was time to sand and sand some more. I sanded everything with 220 grit sandpaper to remove most of the texture and make it feel smoother and I sanded it by hand because I didn't want to sand too much. Since I had put paint in the sprayer again, I figured that I might as well try to get an even smoother finish on the body of the dresser than before. Then I vacuumed and used a tack cloth to get the surface all clean again. Then 
This time, when I mixed up the paint, I thinned it out by 15% in hopes that it would create a smoother texture than before. So we added 16 ounces of paint to 2.5 ounces of water and mixed it very well. We used the 4mm tip on the paint sprayer again. Then I tested the sprayer and adjusted the volume of spray to where I was comfortable and sprayed one coat on the top. Halfway through, the sprayer started acting up on me and wasn't spraying as much paint out as before. So the finish didn't look very good. So, I took the sprayer apart and cleaned out the 4mm tip and got it spraying good again. But first, before doing another coat of paint, I lightly sanded the drawers and the top to smooth out the texture again. Then I cleaned off the dust again. and I sprayed all of the dresser with another coat of paint. The sprayer started to spray less and less paint again as I was getting close to the end. So the top and the drawers still didn't have a really nice looking finish. So I messed around with the sprayer's tip again until I got it to work. While that last coat of paint dried, I worked on staining those other two drawers. I lightly sanded them with 220 grit sandpaper just to make them feel smooth again. Then I cleaned off the dust. And then I stained the drawers with bare water-based wood stain in special walnut. I wiped the stain on with a lint-free rag and then used a clean lint-free rag to wipe away the excess. With my wife coaching me, I tried to wipe the stain on and off in long, even strokes that went with the grain of the wood. Yeah, you were stressing me out there a bit, but you honestly did a good job. The stain was dry after about an hour and it looked so good. So I sprayed on three coats of Minwax Polycrylic in the spray can, letting it dry for 30 minutes between each coat. That stuff sprays like a dream, and it looks and feels so good. The stained drawers were done and looked great, but I wasn't quite done. I went back to the dresser and lightly sanded those drawers one more time. After cleaning them off, Natalie gave me the idea to put them back into the dresser. Sprayed paint dries so much smoother when it's on a vertical surface. The sides always feel smoother than the top. I guess that's another reason that I spray with the drawers in. Then I sprayed one last coat on the top and the drawers. When all was said and done, we ended up with a total of five coats of paint, six coats of primer, one coat of stain, three coats of poly, oh, and two coats of stripper in the beginning. After everything was dry, I put new hardware on. They matched up with the previous holes in the drawers, so we didn't even need to measure and drill new holes, and that's a win-win for me. Before I share what it looks like now, please take a second to hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps get our videos out to more people, so thank you so much. Here's what it looked like before. And after a lot of trial and error on my part, here is what my first ever dresser makeover looks like now. Overall, I am really happy with how it turned out considering I'm a total newbie at this. My favorite part was using the Minwax Polycrylic. It was so easy and it looks so good. Spraying stressed me out a little bit because I didn't want to mess it up and have to sand more. It didn't help that the sprayer was giving me fits, but I'm looking forward to trying it again. And hopefully the sprayer works better next time. I didn't like all of the sanding, but I think it was worth it to make a smoother finish. I really wanted to keep the top stained, 
But I think it does look better overall with the painted top. What do you think? I hope you liked this makeover. See you next time.